come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. A reading from the Old Testament book of Genesis, chapter 50, verses 15 through 21. Realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brother said, What if Joseph still bears a grudge against us and pays us back in full for all the wrong that we did to him? So they approached Joseph, saying, Your father gave this instruction before he died. Say to Joseph, I beg you, forgive the crime of your brothers and the wrong they did in harming you. Now therefore, pleasing, now therefore please forgive the crime of the servants of God of your father, 
Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also wept, fell down before him and said, we are here as your slaves. But Joseph said to them, do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Even though you intend, you intended to do harm to me, God intended it for good in order to preserve a numerous people as he is doing today. So have no fear. I myself will provide for you and your little ones. In this way, he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. Here ends the reading. I wonder who you and I relate the most to in this reading. There's one who have done wrong and are afraid, or the one who was wronged and could seek vengeance. Can you feel the tension, the fear, the uncertainty? I wonder how you and I have experienced this kind of experience in a little or big ways. When have we done wrong and found ourselves in a preca precarious position? When have we had the right to vengeance but not taken it and why? Relationships are not easy. Relationships are frankly messy and sometimes difficult. This account shows us God's way of mercy and forgiveness. How might you and I live this in our real lives now? Let us just be for the next minute, wondering about what we have heard. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Let us bless our